Have you ever tried to copy text from a web page only to find that some elements just won't let you? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle how to disable copying for a specific element in HTML. I totally get it. You want to control what can be copied from your web page, especially when it comes to sensitive or important information. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar challenges. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, how can I disable copying for a middle element when selecting multiple elements? They mentioned that while they can disable copying for that middle element individually, it still gets copied when selecting all three elements together. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this and find a solution. So, what's happening here? When you select multiple elements, the default behavior of the browser allows all selected text to be copied. However, with a little jQuery magic, we can prevent that for specific elements. Let's break it down step by step and stick around. I've got a handy tip at the end that will help you manage copying behavior on your web pages even better. To disable copying for a specific element while allowing other elements to be copied, the user should first ensure they have jQuery included in their HTML. This is essential for the jQuery function to work. Next, the user needs to identify the element they want to restrict copying for. In this case, it's the middle element. They can do this by assigning an ID to that element. Now the user should implement the jQuery function to prevent the copy action on the specified element. This can be done by binding the cut, copy, and paste events to that element. Finally, the user should test the functionality they can select all three elements and try to copy them. The middle element should not be copied, while the other two should be. Fun fact, did you know that the first web browsers didn't even support copying text? We've come a long way since then, but sometimes we still need to control what users can do. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by a user is to use CSS to disable text selection. By applying a specific style, the text cannot be selected, which means it cannot be copied. Now let's shift our focus to a different response. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to use jQuery's hide method. By hiding the element you want to protect from copying, you can prevent it from being selected. To hide the element, simply use the command .notcp.hide. When you want to show it again, you can use .cp.show. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests adding return false to the jQuery function. This ensures that the copy and paste actions are completely prevented for the specified element. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. Another user suggests a different approach to disable copying for a specific element. They recommend using the documents on method to bind the cut, copy, and paste events to the element with the ID not CP. This method prevents the default action for these events. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. An alternative solution provided by a user involves disabling text selection using CSS. By adding a few lines of CSS code, you can prevent users from selecting text in specific elements. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always test your jQuery code in different browsers to ensure consistent behavior. This will save you headaches down the line. And there you have it. You now know how to disable copying for a specific element while allowing others to be copied. Remember, controlling user interaction can enhance your web page's functionality. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video on advanced jQuery techniques.